welcome back in this video we will discuss about one shot logic that rise trigger and false trigger and its short name is r tick and f tick it's same as a p tick and n tick but difference only difference r tick and f tick use a instance db to store its memory data okay here if i call it here rt it asking a instance db you can use that single instance here not the parameter instance okay here it's asking a clock signal that is the that is your logic signal here i am deleting it this one you can use here okay also you may have the other input here but for now i have no other signal just this one signal here you can use the output signal that that will gives output for only one cycle here if i write it as a m30.1 that one is the output one shot or you can keep it empty no issue so here if you use that add function here it will add all the time because from this power rail this one goes to power to this arctic enable signal and when it's enable that time it will gives the output also in enable out here so by this enable out it will add this add function will enable and it will add in every one cycle this one to md 100 every time it will add one with this md 100 so we have to make here a logic that it will high only for one cycle okay so here you can use this rise trigger db name and give a dot and here you can use dot for output now download and check the now okay for now you can see that value is now 6 if i press it add for once now release again if you press it will add once if you use here a memory bit like m30.1 you can use this m30.1 here for the adding this function also you can use this add function in another network or here from branching and in input of this enable pin you have to use this output to use the one shot output okay here now if i press it will add once again released if i press it still it is pressed but value is now 10 by adding once now i i will use the r tick now i will use the f tick here you cannot change the f tick by just click and change as the other one shot or positive is or negative is bit logic okay just you have to add this function because the instance db name here is not same that's why it is asking new add here i will delete this one and use this clock function here and delete this one i will use this clock function here and same as i will use this m here so by this logic it will add once when the value of tag 14 high goes to high low from high tag 14 value goes low from high that time it will give a output for only one cycle scan and it will add one with this md100 now value is 10 
okay if you go here below stain now i am click it it is not adding but still the button is pressed now i am releasing it value is 11 now again you can see value is now 12 okay okay that is the use of arctic eptic in the normal function but if you use the arctic eptic function in call block function how you can use this arctic eptic okay now i am adding a function or function block also name it as a one short fb that one i will use as a call block function for again again maybe you can use this one shot bit in a motor block or other function block which will use for calling function that again 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 that will use again and again okay now okay now here if you i will not adding the function i will not uh, add function here just i will use the bit logic that one shot rtg eptic how can you use just if you drag and drop it will asking the rtg data block name you can use the rtg data block name as a single instance so it will use a db number 6 here db number 6 here for the storing data of this rtg okay when you call this fb function in main ob or other fc function so i am adding it in fc function or okay i am adding it in here that this one okay it will create a another instance db to store the data of this one shot fb here if you open that there is no tag here but you have create a arctic function here okay now if you add another so by this so by this arctic function you can say that this arctic data is arctic data will store in dedicated db6 but i don't want to use that db6 extra db6 because when you call this a one shot it will create db7 but also only for arctic here it will create another db if you create here another ones it will add another db8 so every time it will take a db so if you create 100 or if you use 100 arctic or eptic it will use 100 of db db data block so it is not wise use okay i am deleting it here i will use this one as a multi instance that if you call the function block as a if you read here that if you call the function block as a multi instance it saves its data in the instance data block of the calling function block that means when you call this function block one shot fb in one shot that time it is create a instance db call one shot fb underscore db db7 so that arctic value will save in one shot db not it will create another data block okay make it okay so if you go to the one shot F fc that here because here i have called the one shot fb it is now red why it is red because the function one shot function block is now changed so you have to update inconsistent block okay now the function is updated as the one shot fb now if you go the one shot fb in db7 here you can see the arctic instance is create arctic signal is create as a data type arctic so you can see here the arctic value of this instance db not it will create another db also you can see here in db it will create in static db here also you can create the arctic data type tag here 
I, if I create the test R trig and data type here as a RT. Okay. So here also here I will create a test F trig data type that here you have to write F trig. Sorry, F trig. Okay. Now if you go here and call the Arctic that you can cancel it and you can write the test Arctic then it will work here you have to give the your clock signal or logic signal that when the signal is high that time it will gives a output for one shot same as if you just drag and drop and cancel it then here you can just re write the article or eptic like this then your data type will save here now if you go back to this fc one shot and update the data block update the inconsistent fb block then it will update and from the one shot fb db instance db you can see all the tag is created here and you can monitor the value from here and as well as it will store the data in this data block okay now go back to again one shot fb and here i will add rtick or eptic as if you select the parameter instance if you select the rtick as a parameter instance then your data will save here if you call the function block as a parameter instance the function block save its data in the instance you specify as a block parameter not in the instance block not in the instance of the call block means the arctic function of this one newly created this one will not save in this one shot fbdb it will need another data types okay here I will just so this one Arctic FT instance it will create in the in out here it will create in out tag so when you create it as a parameter DB parameter instance that time it will use the tag in the in out option and when you call this function here see this one this input will create and you can you can give a new tag like uh, you can give a new tag like test f trade f trig and the data block is f trig now okay this one okay this one also a another db that db10 so it will take a another db but if you want to create the if you want to create the <coughs> local db like this one and here if you want to create the a test a trick or a trick like this trigger a trigger and he, here if you want to give a data type name f trig then it will not create the ft because this data type is not allowed in the global data type so you can use in function block as a another db or when you use the um, one shot rtig ft in the function call block function you can use the multi instance that will not create the another db data block it will save the data in the call block instance db